this is how to make a void drop for sunk nets like drifting heron nets basically we don't want if the fish run a little bit deeper we want to put the top rope below the surface a lot of the time with the shallow ground where we are only put a three foot strop on them so the headline is three foot below the surface so then the lead line is in three foot deeper than if that's a surface net if you use twisted rope you got all the ends what catch that's a pain in the bum all the netting that always catch on the ends if you use twisted rope so i always use braided the easiest way to make a braided strop is if what a three foot strop i cut five foot of rope get out the selma fit again push the rope inside go through the boy Allow about four or five inches. Push it inside the braid as before. Pull it through. You just want to pull it, ease it back just enough to bury the end. Just one end done. See, look, streamlined, nothing to catch on. Then the other end, what you attach to the head rope, all you need to do is splice a loop on it. Obviously, you want the loop big enough to get the fluke through. So I'm just going to splice another loop in. Pull it back, knees it down. See that nowhere for the heron or mackerel nets to catch up on. And the best thing about these is with a loop, they're so easy to attach to the head rope. We put them every 20 foot on the sunk nets with a little three ounce intermediate cork every, well, alternating 20 foot. So to attach them to the head rope is simple. Obviously, I'm not using this twisted rope as a head rope. If you use a twisted rope, that'll spin the net up. So all our headlines are braided. All you have to do is put the loop round, feed it through, and pull it tight. That's how quickly it is to attach it to your head rope. If you ever want to fish deeper, you can get some more spare strops, unloop them, Take them off and swap, swap the swap, swap the strops over. Really simple, nothing to catch up on. Nice and neat. Don't ever do it with twisted rope and splice it because you get them little frayed ends. The only way you can do it is by splicing twisted rope and putting heat shrink tube on it. That's a lot more faffing about.